Hello everyone, welcome back to Momentos de Tecnología, Technology Moments, our channel where we share the information that we have found to be very useful in terms of our experience with some hardware. In this opportunity we're going to talk about the Saint Sonic uh, SS630 5.8 GHz uh, AV wireless audio video transmitter, which is a very, very cool piece of equipment if you need to send uh, audio and video through a wireless connection. This is the equipment, this comes with the user manual of course. Um, each one of them uh, has its own power adapter. Uh, we're going to see the specifications in a moment. And these are the these are the transmitter and receivers which actually look very nice and they look very well made. Uh, they have these connectors on, on the back. It has a dip switch the RCA connectors and the power input um, and the power input this one is the dip switch where you can change the wireless uh, channel that you're using this one is the power input and the power button of course in case that you need to to turn it off okay um, besides this it comes with a pair of cables basic cables they are actually just R RCA which is everything you need in case that you have an analog video connection remember that the the yellow is the one for the video and the the, the white one and the red one are for connecting the right and, and left uh, audio source uh, these are the two power supplies that come with uh, with the equipment both of their both of them are identical and that's all you're gonna need so let's power them up and let's see the basic connections that you would need to have um, after powering them uh, up you're going to connect uh, you have to be very careful with one thing please pay attention to this because this may damage your equipment if you don't you have to be careful with the transmitter and the receiver in the transmitter you're going to connect your input uh, of or your audio source very important this one is the transmitter okay and this one is labeled receiver which is something that you have to be very careful with mm, if you connect them reversed uh, you're, you might damage right here your audio card inside each one of these devices transmitter and receiver okay um, you might need one of these cables that is not included this one is um, an RCA by a female uh, 3.5 millimeter stereo connector that you can get on eBay by for for a buck or two. Uh, you can also um, connect uh, these uh, regular pair of headphones with a with a, with an adapter like the one that I just showed you. Or something that might be very handy to have is one of these uh, cables that are 3.5 by 3.5 uh, male audio connectors. Just something that you need to have in your toolbox. Mm. In this case. We w if we had one of those, we would also need one of these female, uh, female to female 3.5 uh, stereo audio connectors in order to connect it this way to any other audio source. So let's connect um, our audio um, audio receiver to our headset in order to set up everything for for the audio transmission. Remember, you can use any other type of adapters in case that you need to connect, for example, right here, an amplifier and stereo system or any other amplifier system that you might have. Okay, so in order to connect our, uh, our audio source to the, um, to the transmitter, you would need a cable like this one or like the one that we're going to use, which is this one. It has a female, uh, it has the RCA by a male 3.5 stereo jack. So we connect it, the white one and the red one, in this case we have a black one. And we connect the other one to any other uh, 3.5 millimeter stereo audio source, in this case a computer. Um, once again, check, transmitter, receiver. Something very important. Uh, before you turn on this is basically what we're going to do we're going to transmit and based on that and the distance that we have we might get better or worse signal so after connecting this device we have found that it has an excellent quality sound 
these devices are actually outstanding. Mm, of course, we have seen that uh, if you have line of sight, you're going to be able to transmit at a greater distance. If you don't have line of sight, you might get some interference. For example, if you have uh, brick walls, it will be a greater interference if, you're, if it is compared to drywall ceilings or a combination of both. Drywalls, drywall ceiling, brick walls, it will be affected drastically. In this case, for example, just by putting my hand on top of the, on, in front of the antenna, right here we are 25 meters from the source, but just by putting my hand in the middle, it will create some, some type of interference. At this time, we're about 25 meters from the source. And just by putting the receiver by this side, I will get some noise in my headset and it will be affected, like I said, drastically just by moving the receiver 10 centimeters away. So guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope if it was of a lot of help. Mm, these are very good devices. They transmit uh, great distances if you have line of sight. Uh, they do also have the option of transmitting video. We didn't use it, but we're sure that it is going to be a very good option if in case you need to connect a stereo system, an amplifier, or just your headphones. Mm, the dip switch, also a good alternative in, you, if in case there is an interference that you want to get away from just by changing the channel. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, see you next time.